I serve because I live in a society made of communities affected by individuals immersed in the vicious cycle that is sexual addiction. Sexual addiction doesn't discriminate. If you have blood in your veins, you are susceptible to the corruption of sexual addiction. It doesn't matter if you are committed to the church community, have a loving family, the perfect job, or are content with or without a romantic relationship. Anybody can struggle with it, including the people that I love most in the world. I serve because I want to help my brothers and sisters. Even if I'm not the one having the conversations, I can be the one to say, yeah, I work for this organization called Proven Men, and we offer resources for people struggling with sexual addiction. And the journey for freedom can start for that person or that person's friend. I could say something like, I empower the organization by working here and advocating by wearing a t-shirt, which is important, but it wouldn't be totally accurate. I don't serve because it's fun. I don't even serve because I get to be a part of something bigger than myself. I serve because if saying something as small as, hey, there's this ministry called Proven Men, leads one single person closer to freedom from the chains that they bear so that they can claim Jesus' victory over sin, my God gets glory and my enemy is pissed. This fight is real, but my God wins every time. I serve because conversations are important. The devil's go-to tactic is to isolate. I'm not saying let's normalize and validate sexual addiction by talking about it at dinner parties. What I'm saying is, people need to know that your sin is going to kill you, but as long as you're still breathing, you are never too far gone.